Welcome back to your channel guys. Today's video is going to be an interesting one. I'm going to talk about a particular character. I want to shine light on his story because I think it needs to be told. Because there's sometimes in the video game world and in other parts of the entertainment world, there's a story that must be told. And this is it. You might say, who is this character? The character is Charlie Nash. If you don't know who he is, that's all right. I'm going to tell you a little bit about him. Charlie Nash is a Street Fighter character. You know, the character that had Chung Li and Ryu. He's been a part of Street Fighter for a very long time. But unlike most of the stories in Street Fighter, his story has not really been told. It's one of tragedy and sadness, and it must be brought to light. So sit back and listen to Charlie's Nash story. Nash was born in the United States. He had a very strong sense of morality, and that sense of morality pushed him to join the military. So he joined the military and the military helped him go to school. Charlie went to a university where he learned psychology. Nash was a very talented martial artist. He won many championships and many tournaments. And he only improved from the military training he had. So much so that Nash was the one who trained Guile and he trained a lot of others in the military service. As Nash moved up the ranks, he was sent on various missions. But this is where things turn for the worse for Nash. You see, Nash was sent on one particular mission where he met Bison. Bison is a powerful character and a main antagonist in the Street Fighter world. When Nash met Bison, he lost. But from that loss, Nash became obsessed with how to bring Bison to justice. He did everything. He investigated. He tracked him down. And one day, he met him again. And he beat Bison. But his win was short-lived because what Nash didn't understand is how powerful Bison was. His reach and his influence touched every part of the military up to the highest levels. So when Nash called his team, the one that he trained, to come and be his backup to take Bison in, he didn't know what was coming next. As he faced Bison to look him in the eye and tell him, you're going down. Bison looked at him and smiled. Because the helicopter fired bullets, but they weren't aimed at Bison. They were aimed at the back of Nash. You see, Nash was portrayed by the team and also by the high command. He was portrayed and shot in the back by the people he trained. He fell down a cliff as Bison looked at him fall. I wish I could say this is the end of this sad story for Nash, but it isn't. Things only get worse for him. You see, Nash was resurrected by a mysterious group. And this group had a power over him and they compelled him to take down Bison. This may seem like what Nash wants, but he had no choice because the group controlled him like some sort of doll. Nash was now a slave to this mysterious group, forced to live again and to obey their orders to go after Bison. But you may think that this was a good thing. You have to understand, 
Nash was riddled with bullets and his body was torn apart. So they sewed him together with various parts and things where he looked like a Frankenstein. The old Nash was gone. In his place was this thing that was sewn together by this mysterious group and forced to go after a person he may or may not want to go after. This is Nash's story, but things don't work out for Nash in the end. You see, Nash met his old group, his friends like Guile, the ones who didn't betray him. He went after Bison, of course, to try to fix what he thought he could fix. But when Nash met Bison again, he didn't win. You see, Nash was given a gift to absorb Bison's power. But when he absorbed it, it was too much for him. And he exploded. This is Nash's story. One that has to be told. Nash was a normal person with a normal life. He had a sense of morality and he joined the military hoping and thinking that he could improve people's lives. But instead, this man was betrayed, stabbed in the back, killed, resurrected to be compelled to fight again and then exploded from a mission he may not have wanted to go on. This is the dark story of Nash, a Street Fighter character, one you may not know, but now you do. There are many stories and games that are sad, but this one, but this one needed to be told. Charlie Nash, a life and a story that must be told. Thanks for listening, guys.